Amen. I do believe it is time to begin service tonight. Amen. 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 Everybody is glad to be here say amen. amen. And even those of you that may be watching online say amen. We can't hear you, but maybe you can hit the, maybe you can put the praise hands up or hit the like button and do all the social media stuff that you need to do to let us know you're watching. Amen. But it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. We thank God for his faithfulness. And we thank God for his goodness. God is so good to us. Amen. Amen. God is so good to us. I, I yes. can sit here and as the song says, I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. All the good things that God has done for me. Yes. Amen. Amen. And then as the song, count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Amen. God is doing a great thing among us. Amen. Amen. It's so Amen. wonderful and so awesome yes. to be a Christian. Yes, sir. Not in name only, but in deed and in truth. Yes. Amen. 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 There's one thing, you know, when your life and what you say add up. Yes. Amen. In deed and in truth. So with that, Amen. we thank God for each and every one of you. We appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching online. Thank you for your support. Thank you for giving. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for everything that you're doing yes. to help make the work of God go. Amen. 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 We need you. Yes. As uh, one of our teachers used to say in seminary, God does not have to have us, but he needs us. Yes, sir. God doesn't have to have us, but he needs us. Yes, sir. Amen. It's not Uncle Sam that needs you. It's God that needs you. Amen. Amen. Now, we, we're not telling you not to join the military. Amen. Because I joined the military. We're still joined the military. We, you know, three, two young knuckleheads. We, That's right. We went in. I'm, and I'm not ashamed Amen. that I went in because when I went in, I needed some guidance. And I needed some instruction. Yes, and, and um, you know, they kind of helped boost you along there at a time in your life when you just kind of had to get things figured out. Amen. So but with that in the Sunday night service, let's all stand. Let's go for the Lord in prayer. Lord, we lift up our hands. We lift up our hearts in thanksgiving and praise. And we pray, God, that your will be accomplished in this service.
save us. Amen. And we thank God for the virgin birth tonight. Yes, sir. Amen. And uh, we're just going to do this acapella. Silent night. Oh. Amen. God knows more about it than we do. Yes. Amen. Amen. God knows Amen. more about it. 
than we do. Sometimes we think things should be a certain way, or this should have happened, that should have happened, this should have taken place, and that. But at the end of the day, we have to be the type of people that say, God, no matter what I think, no matter what I feel, it's what you want. Amen. And sometimes what we want is not what God wants. Even though something may seem to make sense, something may seem to be, something may say, man, this, is, this would just be right. And God said, you may think that, but I got a bigger plan. Amen. Amen. I have a bigger plan. Yes, sir. Amen. And I, Amen. my mind goes back to uh, Pastor Olson. Um, after he lost Sister Olson, his wife, he preached a message some time after that. God had, God had a plan, but he had a better plan. Amen. Sometimes the plan would have been for, you know, for things to work this way, and he would say, but God had a better plan. Sometimes we think something should be a certain way. Oh, this would be perfect. Yeah. This would be the right thing. This would just be right. And, and But God's like, yeah, in your mind, and in your, the way you're thinking, but the way I'm thinking is that I have a better plan. Amen. Some people, the people, the Jews might have thought that the Old Testament was the better way. But God said, no, Jesus is the better way. Amen. 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 The sacrifices was okay. Amen. The priests were okay. The sacrifices and, and the, the, uh, all of the ceremonies and all the representations and the types and shadows and figures may have been right, but God had a better way. Yeah. Amen. Jesus Christ is a better way. Yeah. Amen. 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 Oh, glory to God. Amen. We have yeah. better hope, better everything in Christ. Yes. Read the book of Hebrews. Yes. You'll find out. Yes. Jesus is better than Moses. Yes. Jesus is better than Aaron, the high priest. Yes. Jesus is better than the sacrifices. Yes. Amen. He's the better way. He's the better hope. Yeah. Amen. Our only hope is Jesus. Amen. If you yes, didn't sir. figure that out. <laughs> he is our only hope. Yes, Without him, we're hopeless. Amen. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm going to say something here. It might not be good English. But don't be caught dead without Jesus. God bless you if you get caught. If you die lost without God. Amen. Yes. What well, have been appointed on the man once to die, but after this, the what? Judgment. The judgment. And that's final. It can't be changed. Yes, sir. There's no wiggle room in that. I know people don't like the finality in that. Sometimes because some hearts are realities are so harsh seemingly that we try to cushion it and try to massage it and everything, but one of these days with God's help, I'm going to preach on, it is what it is. Amen. Yes, Eternity is what it is. Yes, Heaven is what it is. Amen. Hell is. Don't try to make it out to be something that it's not. It is what it is. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And if you get saved, it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, don't, try, don't try to make salvation what you want it to be. Salvation is what it is. Yes, sir. Man, that's a good message, then, bro. <laughs> but still, don't take my message from me. Amen. But it's really nobody has an authority on. Uh, you know how much material I, I use from other people? From other, from other it, it's really not. But it's still a good message, though. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I promise you, if you do that, 
and you face reality and do what's right, everything will work out at, on the other end. It'll work out. But don't be caught dead without Jesus. Because it is what it is. Yes, Amen? Yes, sir. It is what it is. Amen. So we're thankful and we appreciate the hand of God. I've been enjoying myself just looking at all the various services. Now, I don't look at all the whole services. I'm sure there's people that do us that way, too. They just go around to check on the brethren and look at the brethren and see what they're doing. And um, there's so many different things going on. I appreciate the churches. Amen. I want to ask you tonight, and before I get ready to preach, I want to ask you, uh, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for our churches. We're going to pray for our preachers and preachers' wives and single brethren. Amen. Amen. I think sometimes we forget the single brethren. Amen. Yes, sir. They're people, too. Amen. Uh, and, and we're going to pray and ask God to uh, touch our churches and our preachers and preachers' wives and single brethren laboring all across this country in Alaska, Hawaii, in um, Germany, in Japan, in South Korea. We need to be praying for um, Reverend Gonzalez, pastoring yes, down at um, yes. He's pastoring now, but I think he has COVID. Yes, and, and um, dangerous. And, um, dangerous. And, well, I don't, I don't know what that is, but some it's other kind really dangerous. Some other kind of dangerous yeah. deal he has. Yes. Reverend Gonzalez down, the preacher in Panama. Just pray for him, please. Yes. And then, uh, Reverend Sister, uh, Mac, the pastor used to say MacDonald. <laughs> <laughs> he loved Dr. MacDonald. The pastor used to say, Brother MacDonald. <laughs> and, uh, and all of the Filipino people that preach. We have Filipino preachers and, and women and, and Bible college yes, down there and different people. Yes, sir. And we need to be praying for those churches and all of the people, the members. Brother Gonzalez got a nice group of people down yes, there. Amen, and amen. Uh, the various brethren, uh, Reverend uh, Brown and Sister Brown, yes. and uh, South Korea has a beautiful congregation. Amen. Brother and Sister, uh, what's his name? Fuller. Brother Berman and Sister Fuller, they have a church over in South Korea. They're doing amen. pretty good. Yes, and then I saw Reverend Stevens preaching uh, this morning. Uh, with his crazy self, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> but uh, we all went to Bible school together. Yes. And I still cannot figure out how when we did our dispensations chart, which is, I don't know how big, really, you remember how long that dispensations chart? It's got to be seven, eight feet long. He did his, he got all of that on him. I don't know how he did that. He got it on a real short kind of thing and got it on, and did it just in real detail. And it was, yeah, yeah, but uh, I still cannot figure out how he got all that stuff in there. It's a lot of stuff. It's the Bible in pictures and and in ages, in different ages, in that in dispensation. Yes. But anyway, not not to get involved in that. But we need to. So if everybody will stand with me tonight. Yes. Um, and, and let's just ask God's blessings oh, upon our overseers, upon Pastor Sister. Oh, God, help me. Pastor Wilson and his family and all the men of God, all the churches. Churches overseas, foreign and foreign lands. God bless our churches, our preachers and preachers' wives, our single brethren. Across the waters in the Philippines, 
Let's get to the message. Yes, Pastor, let's 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 uh let's get into the uh the gospel of John chapter three. I'm gonna read a verse to you that you've never heard of before. What? You think I'm being facetious? The Gospel of John, chapter 3. And uh, like my teachers used to say in school, and our, um, what did my teachers used to say? We always made fun of teachers, teachers in school. I had some good teachers, I had some not so good teachers. But if you get enough of them, you're going to get some good ones and bad ones. Mm -hmm. and, um, John chapter 3, and I'm going to read to you a verse that you've never heard before, uh, uh, verse 16. For God so loved the world. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you know I'm being facetious, right? You know I'm being. Uh, For God so loved the world that he gave. Repeat that with me. For God so loved the world that he gave. That he gave. I'm preaching on the greatest gift of all. The greatest gift of all. Amen. Jesus Christ is the greatest gift we could ever receive in this life. Now, it would be wonderful if somebody gifted me a, a Bentley rate. <laughs> if somebody out there wants to give me a Bentley rate, that would be wonderful. <laughs> but that won't get me to heaven. Yes, I'll enjoy the ride, but it won't get me to heaven. Yes, sir. It would be nice if someone gifted my wife and I a house in Fox Chapel. And also pay the taxes while you at it. Huh? And that would be beautiful, but that won't give me the heaven. It would be nice if somebody gifted us a million dollars that we could be able to take care of affairs and, and different things. The first thing I would do if someone gifted me a million dollars, would, would not be to go down and buy a car. Would not be to go buy a house. Would not be to go and buy something I always want. The first thing I would do without even thinking about it would pay time. Yeah. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Yes. Like I do when I get paid now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hello. Like yes, I do. Sir. I only have 80% to work with. The other 10 don't even belong to me. I don't even operate that way. Amen? Right. And if you get in that mindset, if you get in that mindset, say, you know what? That 10% that ain't even, it's not mine. It's God's. Or right. 90% of my 80%. Yeah, I, I mean 90%. Yes. And then another percentage goes to world missions off the top, too. I don't even spend that. World missions and tithing. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Because when I think about people like Brother Gonzalez, yes. when I think about my brothers and sisters down in the Philippines, oh, whatever few dollars that my wife and I every week, and if yes. I, for whatever reason, have to skip a week, I double it the yes, next sir. week. Yes. Are you with me? Amen. Because I want to, I might not be able to give as much as somebody else. I might not be able to do as much as somebody else. But we do what we can with what we have, yes, so, so that we can make sure that the people that are laboring for God in foreign land know that we care and that we want, we want to be a part of what they're doing Amen. for God. But if somebody gifted me a million, us a million dollars, that's 
that's not going to get us to heaven. But I want you to think about, and all those things would be wonderful. All those things would be noble. All those things would be great, would be nice, would be kind, would be favorable. But they're not good enough to get us to the other side. But Jesus gave us something. I said Jesus gave us something. Amen. That when we leave this world. Hallelujah. That when we breathe our last breath. Amen. We can take the gift of salvation with us. That's the only thing you can take with you on the other side. Is the salvation of almighty God. That's going to work for you. They get you to heaven. The greatest gift of all, I, I appreciate the gift of friendship. I appreciate the gift of decency. I appreciate the gift of faithfulness. Reverend Steele, I appreciate you. I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate you laboring here with my wife and I and I appreciate all the years that you put in here and it doesn't go unnoticed we, might, we don't always talk about it we don't always discuss it I, I've never, I don't even know that I've ever talked about it on camera amen the years that you put in here brother don't let the devil uh, and not that you are but understand the cachet that you built up in heaven. Amen. It might not be celebrated. Your name might not be up in life, brother. But I want you to know heaven keeps records. Yes, Amen. God knows what you've done. God knows the time, the, 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 the hours, the days, the labors that you put in, yes. the people that you talked to, the people that you brought to church. God knows. The, the quiet moments that you had of heartbrokenness uh, and other things uh, that are going on. Uh, God keeps a record, uh, but don't let it go unnoticed. Uh, it's on notice. Uh, God knows uh, in heaven the greatest gift uh, that you can give uh, is your faithfulness yes. to God. Amen. 20 something years of not running. 20 something years of putting up with all kinds of junk here and there. Just to be honest. There's a lot of stuff going on in the ministry. People don't realize it's not pretty. Sometimes you get your hands dirty. Sometimes you hear things that break you down in sorrow. Oh, glory to God. Sometimes we have people that we love get mixed up and messed up. But we have to keep putting, brother, we got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And just say, God, I just need you to continue to be real in my life. Because I got to make it to the city somehow. Amen. It's hard sometimes. The greatest gift of all is the fact that one day God saved us. One day he delivered us from the bondage of sin. Right. He set us free. That's what keeps us going. Yes, right. That's what keeps us moving. That's what keep, helps us keep overcoming and to keep dealing with all the things that come our way. Good news, bad news, disappointment, yes. break yes. things up. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times we've all been broken down in sorrow. Uh, but, but by the grace of God, uh, yes. God has kept us. Uh, by the grace of God, we just keep going. Uh, and we keep loving. Uh, and we keep caring. Uh, and we keep going forward. Uh, because we're not doing it for no other reason. Uh, but for the glory of uh, all. This last year, down in Anderson, Alabama, you remember this? Down in Anderson, Alabama last year, 
there was $45,000 remaining in Naomi. And somebody secretly paid it, paid it all off in one swoop. Think about all those people that had stuff on their way. They obviously put it on their way because they couldn't afford to pay it all at one time. And some well-meaning, well-off person uh, went down to Walmart and paid it all off uh, in one swoop. Uh, what a great gift. Uh, what a great gift. Uh, imagine getting a phone call uh, from Walmart saying your bill uh, is paid. But imagine getting a message from heaven uh, and saying your debt uh, is paid. Amen. Jesus Christ paid it all.
kept the baby wrapped up like that, uh, it was strengthening it. Uh, it was helping in its growth uh, and in all of its maturity. Uh, and so it was uh, that Mary wrapped Jesus up uh, because she knew uh, he would be able one day, uh, he would set us free uh, from all sicknesses uh, and all diseases. Uh, what gift? Uh, what kind of gift is this? Uh, it is the gift of love. Uh, and the gift of salvation. Wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. But the eating trough that the animals ate out of. Huh? She put him in a trough in a manger because there was no room for him and her in the end. And tonight, he is the greatest gift Amen. of all. But the question is, do you have room for him tonight? Do you have room for him? They didn't have room for him. They said, we're full. I don't want to be lost without God. I don't want to be Ravished with sin. Right. I don't want my life to be all messed up. Yeah. And then when the Lord wants to come and take up residence, I, I say, I have no room for you, Lord. I, I'm all full. I, I got all the sin I want. I, I got all the fun I want. I, I like going to the nightclubs. I, I like laying around with all kinds of people. I, I like being drunk all the time. I, I like getting high. I, I don't have no room for you. I, I'm, I, I'm full, Jesus. I, I'm so glad that, that when he wanted to move in, I, when he wanted to set us up, I, I said, I got room for you, Jesus. I, I said, come on in. I, you can come in. I, I might come for that. I'm going to leave the right home for you I, because I want you to be able to, to see your way in. We always have room for you. I want to make sure that I have room for Jesus. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have room for him tonight? Do you have room for him tonight? Are you so wrapped up in, in a lie that you're living? Are you so wrapped up in a lifestyle that you're caught up in? Are you so wrapped up in a life of living against the word of God? Uh, are you practicing homosexuality? Are you practicing lesbianism? Are you involved in sexual deviant behavior that you don't have time? I dare you to open your mind. I dare you to give them space in your heart. I dare you to say, Jesus, come on in. Come on in tonight. Greatest gift of all. Amen. Stand and worship us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord with me tonight. Worship the Lord with me tonight. Oh, God. Let him have his way. Let him have his way. Oh, we need you, Jesus. Bless this altar call. Bless this altar God. He's the greatest gift. I said he's the greatest gift of God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ is the greatest gift. 